Thousands of Savannah Chatham County students left without transportation. Our Danae Bucci spoke to parents and the school district about why this is happening. Danae. Dale, well, the bottom line is it's not guaranteed that students will be able to get on the school bus next school year. Now, we, the district says they're going to offer a priority based transportation model. If your student goes to a choice school, is a K-8 student or is a part of alternative education, the county will be unable to provide them any tra transportation. It seemed like they had a whole lot of time to figure this out. You know, this didn't happen overnight. You know, I, I feel like the opportunities suddenly are not going to be available to students that have working parents, um, students who don't have any way to get there, um, which obviously limits, uh, you know, the population pretty drastically. At the moment, the district has about 240 bus drivers, which is 60 less than what they need. Because of this, they will be taking a priority level approach to decide what students get to get on that bus. We have done some analysis and determine our capacity levels, both with our driver numbers as well as our fleet to be able to determine that we can transport at this time priority levels one, two and three. And the district says even if they are able to find 60 bus drivers to bring them to full capacity, they will stay with this priority based model until at least the fall semester. Dale. Hey, Danae, could the district say partner with the county public transportation system to get students to school? Well, Dale, I asked the school officials if that's a possibility and they said they have thought about that and they've even reached out to the Chatham County public uh, public transportation system, but they say they're also having a bus driver shortage, so that's not even a possibility at this time. Dale. Okay, I understand it takes four to six weeks to train bus drivers, so it's a problem that will last a while.